Courts ordinarily have the discretion to sentence a defendant to probation. However, courts don't have the inherent right to grant probation, and such a sentencing decision must be authorized by the legislature. In the 1992 case People v. Superior Court, the California Court of Appeal considered whether a trial court could sentence a defendant to probation for voluntary manslaughter when the state law presumptively rendered the defendant ineligible. Soon Ja Du and her family owned and operated two liquor stores near Los Angeles. On the morning of March 16, 1991, Du was working at one of the stores when Latasha Harlins entered the store, grabbed a bottle of orange juice, put it in her backpack, and walked toward the counter. While at the counter, Du confronted Harlins and accused her of trying to steal the juice. When Du attempted to retrieve the juice from Harlins' backpack, a physical altercation ensued between the two women ultimately resulting in Du reaching under the counter and pulling out a gun. The altercation caused the juice to fall out of Harlins' backpack and onto the ground. Harlins then picked up the juice and placed it on the counter, but Du knocked it away. As Harlins turned to leave, Du aimed the gun at the back of Harlins' head and shot her, killing Harlins instantly. Subsequently, Du was arrested and charged in state superior court with first-degree murder. At trial, Du testified that she'd never used a gun before, didn't remember firing it, and didn't intend to kill Harlins. A ballistics expert testified that the gun had been modified in a way that made the trigger much more sensitive and easier to set off than usual. At the conclusion of evidence, Du moved to dismiss the charge of first-degree murder, which the court granted. The jury was then instructed on second-degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, and involuntary manslaughter. The jury found Du guilty of voluntary manslaughter and she was sentenced to 10 years in state prison. The court suspended the sentence and Du was put on probation. At the time, California law stated that those who use a gun to commit a crime are presumptively ineligible for probation, except in unusual cases. Following the suspension, the district attorney petitioned the Court of Appeals for a writ of mandate or an order requiring the trial court to sentence Du to prison. 